Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the biodegradable polymers. Biodegradable polymers can be defined as the polymers which undergo degradation by the action of naturally occurring bacteria or microorganisms. So, the polymers which undergo degradation by the action of naturally occurring bacteria or microorganism are called biodegradable polymers coming to the factors influencing biodegradation process so factors that influence degradation process generally includes two factors so coming to the factors influencing biodegradation process it includes two factors namely environmental factors and the second one is properties of polymers so biodegradation process depends upon two factors one is environmental factor and the other one is properties of polymers so environmental factors generally include sunlight heat temperature moisture concentration of oxygen ozone even it also depends upon the nature of the bacteria and microorganism coming to the properties of polymers it includes bond types solubility of the polymer especially it depends upon the mechanical properties of the polymer so biodegradation process depends upon two factors namely environmental factors and properties of the polymers next coming to the classification of the polymers these biodegradable polymers can be classified into two types so biodegradable polymers can be classified into two types one being oxo biodegradable polymers second one is hydro biodegradable polymers so coming to the oxo biodegradable polymers 
these oxobiodegradable polymers undergoes degradation by oxidation process so in this case the degradation is mainly due to oxidation and here the oxidation is carried out by aerobic bacteria so oxidation process takes place in the presence of aerobic bacteria and always the rate of degradation can be estimated by knowing the amount of oxygen consumed or by the amount of carbon dioxide produced good examples of oxo biodegradable polymers includes dry cleaning bags dog waste bags coming to the hydro biodegradable polymers here the biodegradation is mainly due to hydrolysis so here the biodegradation is mainly due to hydrolysis and it is being catalyzed by an aerobic bacteria the rate of degradation can be estimated by knowing the amount of methane gas released so based upon the amount of methane gas released it is possible to estimate the rate of degradation process good examples of hydro biodegradable polymers includes polyester it can also be called as terylene this is about the classification of biodegradable polymers mainly they can be classified into two types oxo biodegradable polymers and hydro biodegradable polymers again the hydro biodegradable polymers can be classified into two types namely natural biodegradable polymers and synthetic biodegradable polymers so in general the natural biodegradable polymers undergoes degradation very naturally in the presence of bacteria or microorganism and good examples of natural biodegradable polymers includes cotton jute starch cellulose natural rubber etc coming to the good examples of synthetic biodegradable polymers here these synthetic biodegradable polymers are prepared in the laboratory from the natural origin and hence they also participates in biodegradation process and they are also safe polymers they generally includes polyvinyl acetate polylactic acid polyester which is also known as terylene nylon etc coming to the properties of 
biodegradable polymers always remember these biodegradable polymers are non toxic so these biodegradable polymers are non toxic hence they are safe to use at the same time they can maintain mechanical strength until they undergo degradation these are the important properties of biodegradable polymers next coming to the applications because of the biodegradable nature because of the safety nature they can be used in plenty of fields especially they can be used in drug delivery systems dental components also used in orthopedic fixation devices they are used in the manufacturing of stents surgical stitches etc at the same time they can also be used in the manufacturing of especially the disposable plates cups and glasses this is all about the biodegradable polymers classification properties and its applications if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day